practicing. What else is there to do? I've been living in pajamas, the old ones with the big purple stain. I've been watching too much TV. Fuck you, Netflix, you're driving me insane. In 2020, we're all stuck on pause. Trying our hardest to survive. Our daily social lives have all but stopped. Yet we're stuck here. Somehow still alive Living stuck inside This is our new normal Afraid to go outside This is our new normal For now we're still safe here It's been a real hard year So welcome to the strange frontier This is our new normal You want any dinner? Hey guys, what you doing? Bye bye, just talking about eating dinner Oh, I like food you know, just because I work doesn't mean I don't eat. I've been checking dog adoption sites, even though you don't have that much room. And I'm held hostage at my nine to five, living life through a window on Zoom. In 2020, it's hard to do my job. Worn out from staring at a screen. To get hired. This is my new normal. Worried I'll get fired. This is my new normal. For now, I'm still employed. This year has been destroyed. I'm, I'm constantly, constantly depressed, depressed and so annoyed. annoyed. This, this is our new normal. normal. Sarah, matched with anyone on the apps yet? Nope. I don't know what I'd do if I was single. There's plenty of fish in the sea. She'll fish up a few in time. Come on, babe, let's cook. Sure, I'm single. Very single. I win the best award for third wheel of quarantine. I love living with my roommates. But I wish there was somebody else here for me. For me. Yearning to connect. This, this is our new normal. normal. Wish I could eject. This, this is our new normal. normal. For now, we're gonna deal. Embracing how we feel. Accepting this weird, strange, new serene. That this is our new normal. Hey, Kev. What channel is SpongeBob on again? Kevin? Coronavirus regulations are affecting our youth population. There's been a decrease in stock prices of dating apps like Tinder, Match.com, and Heated Affairs. <laughs> uh, not that I use Heated Affairs. When will this time be over? My love life is over. Living on my couch, there's no one I can talk to. It feels like I'm just waiting, cause I have not been dating. Hanging in my room, trying to get through. Matching with the perfect person. As the number of cases spike up and down, I don't know how this year could worsen. So I'm deferring till things turn around, but I'm not giving up, not giving up on love. I've exchanged my number, pushed through depression, slumber, been through the apps, but no one has impressed me. I FaceTime called and texted I'm sick of being sexted Romance is dead This time is trying to test me I'm swiping left and swiping right As I keep waiting for my perfect suitor They're hiding somewhere out of sight I'm ready to match and head to my future No, I'm not giving up, not giving up on love But it's not the same as an honest connection. I'm so over pics of your random erection. And stop trying to give me your dad's porn collection. Can we please go in a different new direction? 
Where is my real companion? I'm trapped here in this canyon, living life inside and stuck home with my roommates. I guess things keep on changing, the pressure's rearranging, handling stress, and how now we go on Zoom dates, thinking about projects I can take on next. Gotta keep busy reading, knitting, and baking, hearing my roommates while they're having sex, trying to ignore the mess the world has been making, but I'm not giving up, not giving up, not giving up, not giving up on love. Hulu. SpongeBob's on Hulu now. Thanks, Kevin. I'm so depressed. Why? The apps suck, and I want to meet someone special, but like, is that gonna happen? And and I can't even have meaningless sex right now. I, I think I maybe need to set the bar lower. Okay, so that was like a lot. <laughs> you should keep the bar high, Sarah. Anyone would be so lucky to date you. Hey, super random. I broke some glass. What'd you break? Nothing important. Just let's just chat for, for a moment privately. What's going on? Nothing. Why? Kevin, do what? you like Sarah? I mean, there's no broken glasses there. I promise that I won't judge. Why would you judge, Violet? I'm not. As long as you're honest with me. I'm telling you the truth, Violet. You were allowed to look at other people. It's not a big mistake. I do it all the time. What? So give yourself a break. Whatever it is, what you need to say, I'll still be here for you. Whatever the cost, whatever I'll pay, I will understand it. Don't hold it inside, don't keep me away. Cause you can't tell me anything. Okay. Okay, well, we've been doing this for so long. Yeah? It's hard to communicate, right? I guess. You can tell me anything you want to if you've got things to share, but I don't, so go ahead. I'm ready and prepared. Whatever it is, what you need to say, I'll be here for you. Whatever the cost, whatever I'll pay, I will understand it. Don't hold it inside, don't keep me away, cause you can tell me anything. Whoa, 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 wait. I'm confused here. And I'm uncomfortable. Just tell me, Kev, my spidey sense is tingling. Admit that you have thought about her. Admit that she is on your mind. Admit you see she's smart and kind with perfect skin and shiny hair. I don't want to betray you, Vi. Never meant to hurt your trust. It may have started out as lust, but I'll admit there's something there. I don't know what to say. Kevin, I feel the same way. I mean, whatever you say, I'll be here for you. Whatever the cost, whatever we pay, you will understand it. You let it out, I won't go away. See, you can't tell me anything. You can't tell me anything. Anything at Hey, you need any help? There's no glass. <laughs> uh, however, great timing because uh -huh. we wanted to talk to you about something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you think it's too soon? Not if you're thinking what I'm thinking. Go on. Tell her. Violet and I were wondering if, if you'd consider exploring your relationship with us. Exploring our relationship? Dating's been so hard this year for all of us. I mean, what if we just made it easier? But only if you're comfortable with it. What? Wow, I'm I'm so glad to hear that, but I, I just don't know if it's the right time. If we were a threesome, we'd conquer all our fears. We'd be an awesome trio like the three musketeers. They clinked their swords together, three peas in a pod. A pea. But they got it on, now dating is gone. And good things 
just come in threes. Just hear us out. Just, you know, I mean, if we were a threesome, Violet, me, and you, we'd be so damn courageous, just like Tigger and Piglet and Pooh. They always work together, took honey from holes, oh, and they never frown, so we're down to clown, because good things come in threes. Mary and Ron didn't beat the Dark Lord without her. Hermione Granger. Luke and Leia had Han by their side to flee the Empire's danger. There's ketchup and mustard to put on your fries. But relish can complete it. PB&J is fine on its own. But you don't want to eat it. I'm sorry, but I have to sound the alarm. Just, Just listen, listen to, to us, cause, cause third time's the charm. Oh, well, okay, all right. <clears throat> if we were a trio, we'd be an awesome team. Consider this new offer. We'd be the two cookies and you'd be the cream. It won't be for an evening. We'll wait till you agree. Like A, B, C, and one, two, three. X, Y, Z, and Do, Re, Mi. Cause good things come in three. Oh my god, no, 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 you got it all wrong. We were thinking, like, sure, we could have a threesome, but <laughs> we also could all date. I keep seeing how hard the apps are. So depressing. We were thinking, since you'd get along with both of us. We could all date, like as a poly thing. Wow, okay, sorry, this is just a lot to process at uh 6 p.m on a tuesday so if we dated how would we rsvp to weddings plus two or <laughs> roller coasters what about roller coasters and who do we choose to sit next to and let's not even talk about how hooking up would work <laughs> just <laughs> just think about it come on bye let's give her some space okay i'll i'll think about it If I was with him and her Could things be different than the way they were? If I found the one or two Trying hard to think this through Could I be less lonely? If I said They see me in a different way If I wasn't paranoid So jaded, sad, and real annoyed Would we be less lonely? It's been a year of being stuck inside I'm ready to come out I'm sick of trying to hide my fear And cripple in self-doubt romance after all or is it the high before the fall if you never try then you'll never know should i give it a chance before i say no i could be with both of kevin by things could be so much more simplified if I did agree to this, is there someone else I would miss? But I could be less lonely. They could be less lonely. We could be less lonely. Ah, oh, hi. <laughs> Fuck, sorry, <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> Kev, what did we say about giving her space? No, no, it, it, it's okay. I, um, I thought about what you two said, and I think you're right. Dating during a pandemic sucks. Maybe I wasn't being honest with myself before. I think I want to explore this with you two. You know, that means 
being clear about our needs and our boundaries and communicating with each other and sharing our feelings. And working through any jealousy and or our own baggage. Then maybe this can work. This year's not ending soon, though it feels out of tune. We're doing our best and trying to keep our heads up, changing our minds and our perspectives. Finding time for adjusting our comfort zones. Modern dating really is subjective. And it's way better than coping alone. We're not giving up, not giving up, not giving up, not giving up on dating, science, and vaccines, romance, sex, and hooking up, masterful peace and musicals. No, we're not giving up on love.